So the electrical system is up and functioning. Uh, it's usable both on the shore power and on the solar system. So this video is a quick look at uh, how we completed the solar system. So today's project is to connect the, uh, the solar leads and run them into the trailer. So first thing I'm going to do, something I've never done yet, is um, I'm just going to see what these um, panels are putting out for voltage. Looks like 19.3 uh, on that one. I don't know if I've got that so the camera can see it. A little over 19 volts. And this one. A nice bright sunny day here today, so... Just about the same, 19.1. Alright, so a little over 19 volts a piece. Alright, so... <clears throat> use these... Uh, branch connectors to hook them up in parallel. So, two positive leads. And then, to route these things along the roof, I made these blocks, I made four of them, drilled holes through, and I put uh, 3M VHB tape on the bottom. I forget the drill size, but it works out exactly right. Another good idea that you're free to free to steal or use, whatever. <laughs> pretty sure it's going to work out. That VHB tape is pretty good stuff. All right, we've got the power leads strung and fastened down with our little homemade uh, blocks. I'm going back now. So I put uh, butyl tape on the underside here to seal that when we lock it down. Okay, so we'll just uh, fasten that down. The um, good old uh, butyl tape should seal that pretty good. And then we're going to use some of that uh, foil roofing tape just for added insurance. So there's what it looks like with the, the foil tape sealing everything there. So should be good and weather tight. So fast forward a little while and we are actually on our first trial run on this at a campsite. 
So there's uh, where the solar leads come in the roof and the positive lead goes through that battery kill switch and to the charge controller. The negative goes directly to the charge controller. The changeover switch, I've currently got it set on shore power, so it's running on the 30 amp um, campsite service. And But the solar system is up and running and functioning very well. Uh, the batteries, a little dark down there, but anyway I've got the two of them hooked up in parallel for 12 volt output and rather than mounting them into battery trays I just used the foam that came in the box, the packing material and strapped them down with a velcro strap and that seems to be working very well it cushions and insulates them somewhat and so anyway just taking a look at the charge controller here I still have lots to learn about this but anyway so it's showing right now that the batteries are at 13.6 volts. 15.2 uh, volts coming in from the panels. And 8.22 amps coming in from the panels. Batteries at 100% charge. 13.6 uh, volts. Uh, output right now is 0 amps because there's no draw on it. And 2.7 amp hours. I'm not sure where that number comes from or what it means. <clears throat> it's certainly not the reserve of the batteries because at 100% charge it'll be 200 amp hours there. Uh, still have lots to learn as I said. Again, another amp hour number at zero. I guess that's the uh, current output zero. Uh, current temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. A pretty warm day. Not sure what that 15 means. Not sure what that EO means and back to the start. So I still have lots to learn about that. Also at some point I will put a battery monitor on there so that I can get a better idea. I mean this doesn't really tell you how much reserve is in the batteries. And we've got the two circuit uh, breaker panel with the two 15 amp circuits all wired in. We have outlets down both sides of the trailer. Can't show you that right now because the head designer on this project does not wish to show it until it's all complete. We've still got work to do in the kitchen, so can't show you that. That'll be in an upcoming video. But uh, yeah, everything else is uh, up and functioning, and hope you enjoyed watching this one, and catch you on the next update. Bye for now.